fierce smell of 1995 off it and I think we would all take the same result again in Torles on Sunday afternoon. We've got a brilliant lineup of guests to talk us through the game but the first guest I'm going to introduce to you tonight is a man that barely needs an introduction. I think it's fair to say that here in Clare it is a Buff Egan stronghold. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Buff Egan, please welcome him here to Shannon. Buff, Buff, I know Gar Brooks is coming to Crow Park, but I don't think he's going to get an introduction like that. Thanks for coming up to join us. Are you looking forward to Sunday? Oh, I am. Um, like, for the last couple of years, um, people thought, you know, Clare were maybe on the decline, but I think this year, Jesus, I think they'll beat Limerick. He thinks they'll beat Limerick. No, straight out. Usually I have to wait until the end of an interview to ask the prediction, but the Buff is straight in with it. They're going to beat Limerick. Buff, a lot of people are going to ask, and I know a lot of people know your story already, but tell us, and it's fitting, I suppose, that we're here in Shannon, how did you first get drawn to Clare Hurling? Oh, um, I remember when I was watching, when I was very small, I was in primary school, and I, the television was on, and I, Clare were playing, and I see Brian Lowe, and he was... He was like a fullback. He was he was bursting out. He was like a man gathering sheep. He'd come out. He'd start off from the full back line, and by the time he hit the ball, he was 50 yards away from the goal. And so it would lift the crowd. It would, you know, it was low and really that's that was my favourite player. And, and from then on, I was possessed with Clare. Yeah. And you've travelled all over the country following Clare and following all curling teams, really. Did you ever think, Buff, when you started out going to the matches with your phone and your battery pack, that it was going to gain the traction that it did? Uh, well, I didn't really, but a lot of the games I cover, there'd be no television, you know, like a Kerry Hurling Championship or a, a game in the Cock Hurling Championship or a Clare Hurling Championship. And them games are kind of appeal to people. You know, you see now, last number of years, RT are starting to show games in the Club Championship, but four or five years ago, they wouldn't look at the Club Championship. So uh, they see now that you know there's fierce interest in, in in the club county championship. You know I prefer the clubs club games than the county games. But you're still going to be there on Sunday, of course, Buff. You've already given us the prediction of who you think is going to win. Before we move on to our panel here behind me, I'm going to go one step further. Would you give us a scoreline? Um, one eighteen to nineteen points. 118 to 19 points. So if any of you are filling out those club fundraisers of the nearest score challenge, just remember what the man here beside us has predicted here in Shannon tonight. Buff, we're so glad that you were able to come up and join us. We'll talk to you again later on. Ladies and gentlemen, Buff Egan. Yeah.